clip it off the soup pot. Now, this is that stretch of skin that I was trying to show you on the skeleton. Okay? So you can almost see through it. So you're going to start up here at the top of the shoulder with your knife, and you're going to cut down along the meat, and you're going to drop an end on the body side of the joint. All right, and you're going to go around three quarters or better, just leaving a little tad bit attached in the back. Now, this is his, he took his first joint off. That's one. Okay, cool. This is that V shape right here. Yep. We came down, and we didn't stop on this side, we didn't stop on the joint, we stopped on the body side of the joint, right through here. Now, we agree that this is normal. Yep. Sure. Yeah. We agree that this is not normal. <laughs> Huh? Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right. So once you've got that loose, you know you're going to kind of just grab this and you're going to snap it off, and that's going to take all the cartilage right off the end of this bone. It's going to stay on here where I want it to be. Ready? Now here's okay. There it is. It was starting to stick on. I was able to get it off all the way. I use a little bit. Usually a swift movement will do it. If you try and do slow, it's not, typically it's not going to work. With a good swift snap, will usually do it. Now, there's the white cartilage yep. right here. None of that on here. None. Zero. No tolerance. Okay? If you bring it up to me with a little bit of white, I'm going to send you back. So don't do it. Now, see why I left it attached? I can just pull it down, finish your French. Okay? Very nice. Cut. Done. Other side, same thing. Body, slice down along that, along that 45 degree angle, along that angle. Stop at the body side of the joint, go around three quarters or better. Get a good grip on it, pop it off. Snap. That's what it sounds like to snap. Okay? Cut, bang. All right, done. Now let's take it home. Not a great example here because of the cut skin. So let me go over here and do this one. Wing tips off. Wing tips off. Okay. Again, angle, drop, around. Snap it off. Sometimes it pulls off. What are you going to do? And you just finish it with your finger now. Pull it down. There's no white cap, no bottle cap on there. There's the bottle cap. And that's what it would look like if it stayed on there. It's sitting right on top. You can get your finger on there and peel it off. You can do that. It will come off, I promise. Now, three quarters around. Ah, uh, good. It did not come off. Look. Oh, oh yes, it did. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Attachable. Oh, really. This can't really fail. You really can't. I mean, all you got to do is look at it and know that it doesn't belong there and you take it off. Okay, now I'll give you a good example of the finished product. Pull the skin down. Pull the skin down. Your table needs to be dry on this. Because if, you're, if your chicken is sliding all around, it's like trying to hit a moving target. You're going to hear next week when you get into fish, clean dry fish, clean dry board. Clean dry fish, you're going to hear probably 97,000 times. Unless Chef Harmon doesn't do that. But I don't think Chef Rigorio is back yet. I don't think he'll be back. Thanks, Bucky. I'm not sure. Anyway. Split down the front, right down the breastbone. The keel bone is in there. It does not matter which side of the keel bone you end up on first, because you're doing both sides. So it doesn't matter which side you end up on. All right. This, well, look at that here. See that gelatinous material right there? That's PSE in chicken. Okay. It's kind of minor, but that's what it is. So that is PSE. In that is. Yeah. It's kind of minor, but. 
All right, so I'm going to start on the, my left side and your right side. This is about as close as meat will ever get to fish in texture. Very soft, very easy to put your fingers right through it. In fish, they call it gaping. Here, it's just ruining it. <laughs> okay, it's just butchering it. So be very careful. So you'll be very gentle with your fingertips. Get in there where your knife was and help to release. Help to release it from the carcass. Right. If you're rough with it, if you handle it rough, you stick your thumb in there and you start peeling and pulling, you're going to rip the tender right off of there. Okay, so I feel my wishbone right there. Get around that wishbone. Mm. I want the wishbone, your goal is to get the, have the wishbone stay on the carcass. That's your goal. Okay, <coughs> and that enough. I'm looking for the separation or the joint between the wing and the body. Get your tip of your knife in there, cut right through there. And there's your finished product. Now these chickens are rough shape. No fault of yours. Show me some love, clean it up a little bit. Make it look pretty. Okay. If that didn't have all that PSE in there, it'd be wonderful. That's PSE. Yes, it is. Loose gelatinous material right there. We used to get giant chicken breasts in this place I worked. There, the chicken breasts were dual chicken breasts. They're big as my head. I could wrap the whole thing around my head, and they were just covered in that. And that's why I mentioned that. I was like, "Cause that's old birds." Yeah. Okay, on the side. Come down. Wishbone. Stay close to the body. You're deboning, so we're only using the tip of our knife. Remember, the carcasses are not square. <coughs> Just like you followed <coughs> on the pork loin, you turned your knife and went with the carcass, you basically are doing the same thing here. It's much smaller. Okay, get in there between the joint and the body, or the wing and the body. Okay, this time we got a lot of excess skin. Cut that off. Looks nice and clean though. It does. It does. Okay. Okay. Carcasses. Now look, see? Wishbone. Intact. Not a whole lot of meat on it. Leave that alone. It's attached. It'll stay there. It'll stay there. We're okay with that. Okay, watch one more time. Fingertips, that's it. That's ugly, isn't it? That's ugly. Really not too much you can do to hide that either. It's kind of got to go with it. It's a shame. Back to the other side. See, I'm not sewing. I'm cutting. Turn around so I can feel it. Again, I got my fingers right up against the bones. Tip of my knife is running right down. The, um, Wishbone. Okay. Follow the curve of the body. You don't need to leave any meat on these bones. They make good stock no matter what. Okay, so a little bit of difficulty there. I'm on the wrong side of the bone there. Get through. Some love. Okay. Another carcass. 
wishbones are intact. All right. All three birds get done the same way. Then you can present to me.